Hi guys, it's good to be with you again. Here we are, we have just had lesson five, learning about the nervous system. And we're gonna continue to talk about the main part of the nervous system, the brain today. But in the interim, just in between, we want to make sure that we have reviewed things really well. And one of the fun ways that we get to review is to do riddles. Remember our narrator loves riddles. Ricardo loves riddles. So we're going to do some riddles to review what we have already learned. Here's the first one. I am the building block for all living things. And there are over 200 types of me in the human body. The building block of all living things. What am I? I am a cell. Here's another one. I am a part of the body's systems and have clearly defined functions. Examples of me include the stomach, the liver, and the intestines. What am I? An organ. I would have put in there the skin as well because it's your largest organ. So I probably would have stuck that one in there as well. Number three, I am a strong elastic tissue I can be found in places like the tip of your nose and the top of your ear. What am I? Cartilage. Cartilage. Strong elastic tissue that really that turned into bone. There are other kinds of strong elastic tissue as well. Okay, I am the system that helps your body that give, helps to give your body structure. And I work to protect your organs. I also give you a shape and I make blood. What am I? The skeletal system, that's right. I am the area where two bones come together. What am I? A joint, I remember. A joint, there could be three different types of joints. You'll need to break that one down a little further and know that there are three different types of joints. Here's another one. I am a very strong muscle. I contract rhythmically without you having to control the speed of the beat. What am I? The heart, that's right. I am the system that includes nerves, the brain and the spinal cord. What am I? The nervous system, that's right. Okay, let me ask you a couple questions and I want you to think about this and think about whether you would be able to write three really good content rich sentences about these questions to answer these questions because guess what? At the end of the unit, you're gonna have to write at least three really good content rich sentences about these topics. Okay. The nervous system, muscular system, and skeletal system is important for survival because, now if you were to choose one of those, either the nervous system or the muscular system or the skeletal system, would you be able to write three good sentences with a lot of content to restate the question and thoroughly answer. Okay, make sure you can do that. Okay, I would compare and contrast the nervous, muscular, and skeletal systems by, remember to compare, you're gonna be using words like, they are the same, all three have, or if you're just comparing two things, you say both of them have. Those type of words are gonna compare. If you're gonna contrast, you can go ahead and say, in contrast, you know, if you're talking about one system and then you move to another one to change direction in your thinking, you might say in contrast, or but this system has another thing, okay? So make sure that you're using transition words that are going to signal your reader that you have changed directions in your thinking. And here's a good one. Those of you that love to make up stories, this would be a great question for you to think about. Um, 
It says, using as a model the myth and figurative expression you learned about Achilles and the Achilles tendon. Remember, we talked about the Achilles tendon being the only vulnerable place. Can you make up a myth that would explain the funny bone? Because remember, the funny bone is neither funny nor a bone. Hmm. Some of you have such good imaginations, you would be able to make up a myth that would explain that. I would love to hear those. All right, I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to make this one thing that you will listen to, this review, and then we'll get on and we will continue with the nervous system.